Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name's Latif and if you are new here, please hit up that subscribe button, switch on your notifications and, you know, basically support your boy, like follow me on my journey, innit? Um, uh, <laughs> I haven't said in it in such a long time. Um, so yeah, support me on my journey. But anyway, look, today I'm going to be talking about toners. And the reason why I'm going to be talking about toners is because I was having a conversation with someone and they said to me, are toners actually necessary in your routine? Um, because they had heard a lot of yeses and a lot of noes. And I think the one thing when we think about skincare is that it's often polarised. People often say yes, people often say no. When in actuality, it really depends on your skin, what you're trying to get out of there and what works best for you. So I guess for me, it's both a yes and no. And that's why I'm going to kind of jump straight into it and just keep it going. So... I think I should also start off by saying that for me, I think that toners are quite good and I build them into my routine. So I think historically, toners have got a bad reputation simply because how they were previously formulated was to have a lot of alcohol in them, which resulted in stripping the skin of its natural oils, leading to dryness, irritation, and in severe cases, redness. Um, so the kind of poster people for your kind of toner where these kind of acne oily prone skin and even you know as we've kind of moved into this modern era a lot of dermatologists have even said that even for people with oily skin some formulations that had a lot of alcohol were far too dry in even if you had an oily skin type so i think from there a lot of people are like well actually if this thing has a lot of issues is it actually you know beneficial and I think it's really important to take a step back and sometimes not look at something as a whole but look at the formulation of the specific products that you're using so if you're using you know a toner with a crap ton of alcohol in it of course it's not going to be great you've essentially played yourself so I think it's really important to look at it like that so when we look at the function of a toner a toner is not something that you do as a standalone. It's not like an SPF that I would kind of apply for two hours. And I hope you guys are applying your SPF. It's not something that I would apply for two hours, every two hours. Or it's not like a moisturizer that I may top up. A, a toner kind of falls under the category of cleansing. And essentially, the primary function of a toner is to be used after cleansing. And I guess the idea is to try and capture the kind of grime or dirt that you may have just kind of left behind. Keyword here is try. I'm not saying it does before you guys come for my neck and say, hey, you said it's definitely going to do that because there is no guarantee that it will or will not do that. But at, a, at its basic form, a toner should really get rid of the excess dirt um, and oil on your skin. Some toners are a bit more advanced um, and what they actually do is help uh, correct balance your skin's pH. Another kind of benefit when we look at the kind of primary function of a toner is that it's actually a good kind of base for you to add active ingredients because the skin is moist and it helps them absorb and penetrate. So for example putting on a serum or essence after using a toner would actually be rather beneficial. So for me that's its primary function. Now, if you're someone who oil cleanses, water cleanses, you know how to clean your face really well, then arguably, is there a need for a toner which only serves this primary function? For me, I would say no. And I think quite a few other people may agree. Now, this is why I think toners are really special and where you should really kind of be looking out is for toners with a secondary function. And when I say a secondary function is that they do everything I've listed, but they also do a bit more. So for for example, when I think about the routines I build, I'm looking for toners that um, brighten, exfoliate and soothe the skin. So they go that extra step further. And now that we've moved into this kind of, you know, I want to say tech savvy world, but it has nothing to do with technology. But, um, you know, you have a lot of kind of these formulations which have these additional benefits. It's not just about cleaning the skin. It's about bringing something new to the table. And that's why I think toners are necessary because you can use them. If there's a specific thing you're trying to solve, a toner could be actually useful in helping you achieve that. So, as I said, like, I think about the kind of brightening, exfoliating and soothing aspects. So that's what I'm all about. So I'll give you a few examples and I've got them with me right now. 
So my number one, which I absolutely love, is the AHA BHA Clarifying Turner from Cosar X. I spoke about this in a previous episode when I was talking about Cosar X, and this is an amazing um, toner. I think it's absolutely great. Like this is like if you don't think it's great, step outside. We can have a chat outside. That's how good I think the toner is. Um, and essentially, this is great because it has uh, B-tine salicylate, which um, salicylate. Yeah, that's what you say. Um, which is really great for exfoliating, helping you improve your skin's texture, as well as getting rid of excess sebum. It has uh, allotoin, which is good for soothing the skin. Um, it has pathanol, which is also good for soothing the skin, but acts as a humectant, which actually draws moisture um, into the skin, similar to aloe vera or glycerin. So this for me is a bad boy toner. It's absolutely one of my faves. One thing I will say about it though is because again, it's an AHA, BHA clarifying toner with those properties, you need to ensure, and you should be doing this already, that you are using SPF when using this, especially if you're using it in the daytime. I only use this in the PM, um, but it's also advised that you can use in the AM. But if you are going to be using it, make sure you're wearing your SPF. You should be wearing it anywhere, anyway, but I'm just gonna tell you to put it on again. So that's that one. My second one, which I actually quite like, and I'm actually gonna try and say off the top of my head, is the Licorice pH Balance Cleanser Toner from Acewell. I know it's Acewell, let's see. Okay, Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toner. I don't know if you can see that because I think the ring light on it is so bright, yeah. Don't know. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to put a picture of this one anyway. Um, and it's actually almost finished. Um, this one is actually great because it helps with brightening and even evening out your skin tone. Now, what's really important to know about this one, I'm not saying that this alone is going to help brighten or even out your skin tone. But again, if that's something that you're aiming to do, this is probably something that you can include um, in your steps. So obviously it has licorice root, which is great for its um, anti-inflammatory properties, but as well as its bright brightening properties, right? So again, this one I'm saying, when you want a toner, you want something that does all of the cleaning and stuff, but also goes a bit step further. It also has a uh, peony flower extract as well as green tea extract, which is great for packing your skin with antioxidants, which protects you from free radicals. We've spoken about free radicals a lot of times here, so I hope you guys know what it is. But just to recap, it's essentially free radicals essentially um, damage the cell struct, well, the strength and structure of your skin cells right so just remember that so this i will highly recommend as well third on the list and i don't actually have it to hand because i'm waiting for it to be re-delivered but i did speak about it on my instagram a few weeks ago is the keep cool toner now keep cool as a brand actually has my heart because they are amazing for people with sensitive skin as well as soothing your skin um and this toner has bamboo extract it has hyaluronic acid it has Japanese honeysuckle flower extract, an all-around great combination and it just kind of works to kind of soothe and hydrate your skin. So again, highly recommend um, and that's why I've probably gone through like two bottles in such a short amount of time and I'm ordering a new set. So I'm probably sure that what you've noticed here is that out of the three kind of toners which I would say are the best toners I've ever used, they're all Korean toners. And I think simply while I was actually having a look at this, there are rarely any kind of Korean branded toners which do not have a secondary function. They all have like this kind of secondary purpose. And of course this is to be expected because I think Korea being the beauty capital is you know, ahead of the game. But I found that to be really interesting. Aside from, I guess, the Korean brands, the one toner that I've used that I found to be quite good was the Kills Aloe Cucumber Herbal Non-Alcohol Toner, I, th I believe it was. Um, and that was actually quite good. Um, it has Alatone as well as Cucumber Extract, which is really good for the skin. Would I say it was amazing and life-changing no but generally speaking it actually was quite good so look like i said i wanted to keep it short and just really kind of address 
that question but really I think that if you're going to get a toner please get a toner that has a secondary function which kind of helps you and is best suited to your skincare routine for you to achieve your end goal so again if there's something that you want to achieve or you see there's a kind of skin issue that you have maybe you need additional help with soothing irritated skin uh, or something like that this is when I would say try to make sure the toner matches you know your skin issue or whatever as best as possible like it's not really rocket science you could probably go in a toner it'll tell you what skin type it'll tell you the kind of ingredients and properties what it helps you do and kind of just take that extra minute to actually kind of be proactive and read up about it um so yeah that's what i would personally say so like it's a yes and it's a no so yeah i mean like look i put the link to these products in the bottom um and yeah that was it really so Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I am absolutely sweating. So if I look shinier than usual, it's because we are experiencing a heat wave in London. Um, this is actually my second time recording this because the first time I actually just switched off the camera and jumped back in bed last night because I couldn't breathe. So yeah. But anyway, look, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And do not forget to subscribe and switch on your notifications. Peace.